For today's Into the Lair, we're here at Oasis Mastering, um, where I have my studio, my mix room, and uh, where you guys see a lot of the ITLs filmed. Uh, Oasis is the home of Gene Grimaldi and Eddie Schreier. Eddie's a, an amazing mastering engineer. I owe a lot to him, so does Gene. Gene masters a lot of my stuff, almost all of it, and I asked him if he would share some insights into the world of mastering with us. So, Gene, welcome, my friend. Thanks, Dave. Pleasure to be here. Uh, uh, Gene's done Lady Gaga, a couple of records with her, the good ones. Uh, Tamar Braxton, Paramore, uh, Icona Pop, Lana Del Rey, Carly Jepsen, on and on and on and on. I think he did a Beatles reunion record last <laughs> year that had all four Beatles in it. Pretty amazing thing. You got to check that one out. Hadn't been released yet. <laughs> Gene, I haven't seen you since about... Ten minutes ago, <laughs> that's right. We're right, there. we're right down the hall. Yeah. Uh, if you leave, if you leave Gene's room and go go forty feet, my my room's on the left, and um, very similar to Gene's room. Although I think Gene's is a little better, but it should be. He's uh, he's got more skill than I do. I don't disturb you too much, do you? You know what you do sometimes? Yeah. You rock it pretty loud in here, Gene. Oh, every once in a while. That's those subs, right? Yeah. Man, we got. Well, you huge, have them too. I do. Do I bother you? Not really. Okay, good. I have turned up a little bit. If you could get every mixer to do one thing in terms of um, their end of the process, what would that be? You know, mix at 24-bit. This way, you know, you're not compromising the audio quality in any okay. aspects. You know, you're delivering as high as possible. So you, you really right love now. me because I give you 32 float. There you go. That's better, right? Yeah. Yes. He gets it. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep my mastering engineer happy, and you should too. Would it be an accurate statement to say that that when I'm mixing and using my my skill set differently than you are, because I'm I'm kind of focusing on individual combining individual elements, but you're you what you receive is a two track mix, and yeah. you're looking at more of an overview concept. I'm kind of stuck with two tracks and right. in mastering. Stuck is a good word when I it, give it, you it, something. It, it, <laughs> So in mastering, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, without making a phone call, sometimes we can um, fix issues in a mix that are mm -hmm. subtle, you know, when you have mm -hmm. a really good mix, you know, and you can enhance them and bring, bring out, um, mm -hmm. let's say, the vocals, because vocals are really important in, mm -hmm. in, a, in a pop track, or mm -hmm. maybe guitars or the kick mm -hmm. drum, you know. And the way, I, the way I do it is I do it in sections. Like, mm -hmm. I'll pick, like, the low frequencies, mm -hmm. separate it to the mid frequencies, and then the high frequencies. Mm -hmm. And um, I'll look at the relationship between the tracks and all those segments mm -hmm. and adjust accordingly with mm -hmm. EQ. And it, it's real precise what mm -hmm. we do. Yeah, and that's mastering. precise. So I've seen it's you, really precise. I've seen you do one tenth of a dB increments. Don't tell, don't tell a lie. You can hear one tenth, right? Well, you can hear it in relationship to um, popping the EQ in and out. I'm lucky on a good day if I can hear 3 dB. <laughs> but um, so this balance that you're trying to do are like basically the only, the, basically we use the same tools like we were kidding earlier. We make things um, lighter. What, what does Craig say? Louder, darker, brighter, mm -hmm. duller. And, and so you do this with EQ and compression, right? Yeah. Those are your basic yeah. tools. And gain. And and how does that differ? From when, I, when I'm using those tools, I tend to think of the individual components. But let's say I bring you a mix and, and the vocal's not loud enough. Describe, describe philosophically. The process. Yeah. Um, you would isolate the frequencies that the vocal occupies? Totally. It's like, it, it, it's usually, you know, it's going to be the mid-band. So okay. think, think you know, 1K, 2K, 3K, you right. know, 4K, that kind right. of thing. So, and, you know, going to take a stab there, uh -huh. you know, with, with some EQ and either raise it mm -hmm. or lower it if mm -hmm. it's a little too loud or compress, com use uh, multi-band compression you know, it's, it, it, it comes from just listening to lots and lots of music, you know, and know what it sounds Ain't like. that the truth? Yeah. At, at the end of the day, we're it, just selling it, our taste, it, aren't we? It, yeah, yeah, so. One of the things I, I like about what you do that I think distinguishes you as one of the top guys is, is you do have taste, and, and you're not 
trying to create a technical masterpiece. You're trying to create an emotional masterpiece with feeling and, 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 and something that, that the end listener and user is going to relate to. And that's one of the reasons I come to you so often. Mm -hmm. Guys, you might think that, that Gene only works with the, the stars and, and the top guys, and you'd be right. But uh, uh, save those nickels and dimes and, 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 and grab a mastering job from him. You'll learn a lot. He's a good cat. And uh, this has been a pleasure for me. I hope you guys learned something from this. I know you, I know I did, uh, and I hope you did too. So next time, thanks. Bye.